got this 2019 T680 Kenworth. It's in that mode here. I have a deaf leveling sensor problem. It's going on five miles per hour. This usually happens in this truck. I usually suggest to people that they should um, not let their deaf sensor go below uh, 50%. So when they're feeling, they should actually just build this up as well. But it's not reading, so it's, uh, it's the problem with that. So check out the side right here. Next, uh, which those bolts are just uh, six of those bolts, and they are 17 millimeter bolts. That's what is going here for that cover. Then you want to take off this cover so you can get to the tank. So, so yeah, this pops up like that, and right here. So take the bolts off right here, two half inch bolts, and then the same thing here, two half inch bolts on the top right there. This part, this cover here that I got tucked away to the side uh, goes right here. So two four six eight nine bolts and then um, now you'll be at everything on top of here even this is uh your depth lines and your coil lines but the leveling sensor is right here so i gotta go underneath and disconnect this cord this is the sensor uh plug in right here lift this yellow tab up be careful as you can it is fragile you can break and it's gonna be all the way up there as you can see it. Got all my lines disconnected. I have your, uh, this right here is your depth line. It's gonna be a depth line, coil line. We have another coil line here. I do have it um, clamped at the bottom, but still coolant is gonna come out of here, so I gotta, okay. So next you're gonna wanna take these bolts out right here. So 5 8 or uh, 16 mil. It's going to be stud in the back. And then now uh, this part here is what uh, screws in the, in the here, threads there. So it takes this out, which is going to be able to have this tank, this tank move forward. And then I'm about to get this um, one out and have this move slightly forward. And I'm going to quickly take this out and put the new one in. Taking the leveling sensor out, you just want to get it like that and then turn it like that. Once you turn it up, it should pop up the gasket. That's why we are changing the tank. Okay, take that hose out. So we're changing the tank so we can uh, pin this up. It's not going to get out all the way. There's a way that you can do this by you know, bending this old one if it's not needed afterwards. See, they have some in there. So your sensor is gonna go right in here. So I have it usually like this. I have my knee holding it because it's not that full. So, show you guys assembling it. Make sure your new mask is there. So it's flat. You should see it's flat. Have it like that, and then you can use this. Probably doing this here with one hand. Turn it back on just like that. You can lift back up the tank. Put it back like that. Put your straps. Put the first one in. Put the spring. And have your 
Sensor down and connected in there. You take this cover. Yeah. Put it cover is all that. Kind of suits. It's tight. The glass is in. Bolts are on back in. Alright. And now I can take this cover. Put this cover back on. I got it. Didn't lose that much glue in here, but you just want to fill it up all the way to where it says cold fill or this line is, I have a line here. And then um, lead the uh, air out of the system. So it's good to do that, let it run, and then let it suck as much as uh, cooling down as needed. questions or any concerns don't forget like and subscribe you can always hit me up in the comment box section uh thank you for tuning in